Hey guys and girls, I doubt this video is going to work very well. For whatever reason, my camera wants to lose focus. So, right now we're priming fresh drywall. So the reason that we do that is because this fresh drywall got a lot of dust on it. What will also happen is uh, you'll be... Uh, Sorry, I'm trying to get this thing to focus and it's driving me nuts. So what will also happen too, if you don't seal the drywall properly, you'll paint over top and wherever there's uh, drywall mud, it's a softer material and it's more porous so it'll actually absorb the paint faster and this is called flashing. So if you don't take care of the flashing issues, um, your paint is not going to look right so you're going to be able to see all the uh, drywall joints you're going to see all the screw holes or where the screws were sorry and everything so this is just a real quick video showing how to paint or how to apply uh, drywall primer sealer so what I've done so I've actually painted this wall already and uh, you can see over here nothing we painted the ceiling already I don't know why it doesn't want to focus I don't know if it's just the white it's having trouble with it I don't know anyways it's driving me nuts I apologize people please don't hate me for it so what I've done is I've gone around I've painted around all the outlets I painted around any obstructions painted all the corners okay so you can see if this thing would focus you'd see that we have painted into the corner so now all of a sudden all you have to do is just go through and actually uh, roll it out and uh, again I apologize for the uh, image quality just trying to make a good video give you guys some pointers that help me out so as you can see everything's covered in drop sheets cover your stuff guys these things cost like buck fifty at the dollar store um, it's really cheap insurance so again, apologize for the camera work. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna try to set this up so that we can get some painting going. And it's probably not gonna focus. I'm gonna try to focus on there, there. And we're gonna try painting this and see, how, see what happens. Thick paint. You can't really apply too big of an area at once because of how thick it is. Just take your time. I like using these extension bowls allows you to cover a bigger area in less time with less effort and again this is thick paint you can't go in a huge area like you could if it was the finished paint turn your roller around that way it loads up the paint on different parts of the actual roller I like to start somewhere near the middle so that there's a larger amount of paint there and as you roll over top of it you pick up more it just helps to evenly distribute within that area I always try to keep going until you get to a corner you always want to keep this edge right here wet just take it slow most of the time your paint job is going to be made or broken at the 
priming stage. Prep, prep, prep. And I really hope this video is recording and not going all out of focus. gotten up to the corner and what I like to do is just run my roller along the top and just smooth out where that roller stopped at the top and cut a bit of a straighter line and that's how it's done so if you want to after this you can go ahead and uh, actually take a sander to it once everything's dried give it a real light scuff in between then you can start applying your two coats of finish. So I'm going to try to make a video on that. Again, if the, uh, the camera will cooperate. I hope it cooperated for this one. I hope I helped you guys out. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, thumbs down. Tell me why you didn't like it down there. Leave your comments down there. I'll get back to you. Think about hitting that subscribe button right there. And uh, thanks for watching. Till the next one.